Many fell in the Archon War, but though their life force faded, their power and malice survived as remnants, posing a continued threat to the world. In Liyue, the task of ending this threat, or rather, enduring it, falls to Xiao. To most in Liyue, Xiao is a name seldom heard, and as the few who have seen him can attest, he appears only when grave danger is nigh. Coming across this Adeptus, should one count their blessings or their curses? Conquering demons is what I do. Hailed as the conqueror of demons, Shao's abilities are unparalleled among the Adepti. As such, he vanquishes demons without breaking a sweat. Shao is agile. His movement skills allow him to dart around the battlefield, and when he dons the mask of the Yaksha, his abilities are enhanced even further as he purges evil and protects Lyra. After years of honing his abilities, Xiao has developed an Adeptus art that affords him strength at high altitudes. When Xiao is in the party, the active character consumes less stamina while climbing. Xiao's normal attack can combo up to six strikes, dealing physical damage to enemies. Holding the attack button causes Xiao to consume stamina and perform an upward thrust, dealing physical damage and lifting enemies into the air. While airborne, press attack to perform a plunging attack, striking enemies on the way down and dealing AoE damage upon landing. Xiao will not lose HP from a plunging attack, no matter how high he starts. Use Xiao's elemental skill to lunge forward, dealing animo damage to enemies in his path. Make adept use of this skill to dart effortlessly around the battlefield, dealing damage while tactically adjusting your position. Also, Lemniscatic Wind Cycling can be used while airborne, making it easy for Xiao to navigate challenging terrain, aiding with exploration. Lemniscatic Wind Cycling starts with two charges available. After unlocking the talent Dissolution Eon Heaven Fall, if Xiao uses multiple charges in quick succession, damage dealt increases with each one. Evil Conquering! When Xiao unleashes an elemental burst, he dons the Yaksha's mask that once struck fear into gods and demons alike. His attacks now deal animo damage, which cannot be overridden by another elemental infusion. And Xiao's attack AoE and damage are both increased. In addition, Xiao's jumping ability is greatly enhanced, allowing him to assail the enemy with plunging attacks. The Yaksha's mask brings enormous power, but also great suffering. During Xiao's elemental burst, he will continually lose HP. This effect stops if he leaves the field. After unlocking the talent Conqueror of Evil, Tamer of Demons, while Bane of All Evil is active, Xiao's damage gradually increases. When Xiao goes into battle, danger follows in his wake. To avoid harming others, he acts quickly, completing the task at hand as efficiently as possible. As the fight begins, Xiao uses his elemental skill to move rapidly around the battlefield, changing strategic positions, dealing damage as he goes, and building up energy. When his energy is full, he unleashes his elemental burst and harnesses the power of the Yaksha's mask to incapacitate the enemy with plunging attacks and finish off every last one. For millennia, tales of the Yakshas have been told in Liyue. But over time, these defenders of the masses have all but disappeared. Only Xiao still honors his contract with the Geo Archon by performing the duties assigned to him, though the cost of this duty is perpetual solitude. I know that Adepti suffer heartache just as I do, but I cannot know Xiao's future. Will Xiao be ravaged by the unending war he wages and be plunged into despair? Or will he meet someone who understands his sacrifice and can shine a ray of light 
into his dark world.